Shem, Hebrew, same Shem winking face, was one of the sons of Noah in the Hebrew Bible as well as in Islamic literature. The children of Shem were Elam, Asher, Arphaxad, Lud and Aram, in addition to daughters. Abraham, the patriarch of the Hebrews and Arabs, was one of the descendants of Arphaxad. Islamic literature describes Shem as one of the believing sons of Noah. Some sources even identify Shem as a prophet in his own right and that he was the next prophet after his father. Shem is mentioned several times in Genesis chapters 5 to 11 as well as 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 4. Topic: In the Bible. Topic: Genesis chapter 10. Genesis chapter 10 verse 21 refers to relative ages of Shem and his brother Japheth, but with sufficient ambiguity to have yielded different English translations. The verse is translated in the King James Version as, "...unto Shem also, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth the elder, even to him were children born." However, the New American Standard Bible gives also to Shem, the father of all the children of Eber, and the older brother of Japheth, children were born." According to Genesis chapter 10 verses 22–31 Jewish Publication Society translation of 1917 22 The sons of Shem, Elam, and Asher, and Arpashad, and Lud, and Aram, 23 And the sons of Aram, Uz, and Hul, and Gether, and Mash, 24 And Arpashad begot Shalah, and Shalah begot Eber, 25 And unto Eber were born two sons, the name of the one was Peleg, for in his days was the earth divided, and his brother's name was Joktan, 26 And Joktan begot Almadad, and Shelaf, and Hazarmaveth, and Jera, 27 And Hadoram, and Uzal, and Dekla, 28 And Obal, and Abamah, and Sheba, 29 and Ophir, and Havilah, and Jobab, all these were the sons of Joktan, 30 and their dwelling was from Mesha, as thou goest toward Sefer, unto the mountain of the east. 31 These are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. 32 These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations, in their nations, and of these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. Topic. Genesis chapter 11 Genesis chapter 11 verse 10 records that Shem was 100 years old at the birth of Arphaxad, two years after the flood, and that he lived for another 500 years after this, making his age at death 600 years. Excerpts from Genesis chapter 11 verses 10 to 27. Jewish Publication Society translation of 1917. Shem was 100 years old, and begot Arpashad two years after the flood. Arpashad lived five and thirty years, and begot Shalah, thirteen and Arpashad lived after he begot Shalah. Shalah lived thirty years, and begot Eber. Eber lived four and thirty years, and begot Peleg. Peleg lived thirty years, and begot Reu. Reu lived two and thirty years, and begot Sarag. Sarag lived thirty years, and begot Nahor. Nahor lived nine and twenty years, and begot Terah. Terah lived seventy years, and begot Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And Haran begot Lot. Topic. Book of Luke According to Luke chapter 3 verse 36 Jesus is a descendant of Shem. Topic. In Jewish sources The first-century historian Flavius Josephus, among many others, recounted the tradition that these five sons were the progenitors of the nations of Elam, Assyria, Chaldea, Lydia, and Levantine, respectively. According to some Jewish traditions e.g., B. Talmud Nedarim 32b, Genesis Rabbah 46-7, Genesis Rabbah 56-10, Leviticus Rabbah 25-6, Numbers Rabbah 4-8, Shem is believed to have been Melchizedek, king of Salem whom Abraham is recorded to have met after the Battle of the Four Kings. A rabbinic document that surfaced in the 17th century, claiming to be the Lost Book of Jasher provides some names not found in any other source. In Muslim sources 
Shem is regarded by scholars to be the successor to Noah, receiving prophetic knowledge, enlightenment, and leadership of his people. Jafar al-Sadiq has narrated to his companions that Jibrail visited Noah close to the time of his death, relaying God's message, O oh Noah! Your prophethood has expired and your days are complete, so look to the great name, the inheritance and effects of the knowledge of prophethood, and hand these over to your son, Sam Shem, for I do not leave the earth except that there is a knowledgeable one by which obedience to me God can be recognized." In one Muslim legend, Shem was one of the people whom God made Jesus resurrect as a sign to the children of Israel. Early Islamic historians like Ibn Ishaq and Ibn Hisham always included Shem's name in the genealogy of Muhammad. Topic: The term Semitic The associated term Semitic is still a commonly used term for the Semitic languages, as a subset of the Afro-Asiatic languages, denoting the common linguistic heritage of Arabic, Aramaic, Akkadian, Ethiopic, Hebrew and Canaanite Phoenician languages. <laughs> <laughs> family tree The following family tree contains information from the Hebrew Bible, without data from any other sources. According to Luke chapter 3, an additional figure named Canaan is the son of Arpashad and the father of Shalah. See also Wives aboard the Ark Topic. Footnotes Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic Bibliography Kishik, David 2018 The Book of Shem on Genesis before Abraham Stanford University Press Topic External links Herberman Charles ed 1913 S.E.M. Shem. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company.